As you can see, this bathroom renovation is in full swing. Now it's time to start laying some tile. We've prepped the floor with this underlaying. Now if you haven't seen the prep video, it's important that you watch that one first. We're going to be laying this ceramic tile in a jack-on-jack -jack pattern. It's going to look great for our new bathroom. Now before you start, it's a good idea to mix tiles from different boxes in case there's any slight difference in color. Alright, let's get down to business. I've already mixed some unmodified thin set mortar following the instructions and it's close to the consistency of peanut butter. Starting at the mark in the center of the room, fill the cavities in the matting with unmodified thin set using the flat side of the trowel. It helps to run the trowel in a couple directions. Try not to cover your reference lines. Now comb additional unmodified thin set with the notch side of the trowel held at a 45 degree angle. Don't make swirl patterns and just put the excess back in the bucket. Next, lay the tile along the reference lines. Just lightly press and twist into the thin set, making sure to collapse the ridges of mortar and get full contact to the back of the tile. Keep laying the tile, putting spacers in between. For tiles that are 12 by 12 or larger, it's a good idea to back butter or flat coat the backs of the tiles with thin set prior to setting the tiles. Every few tiles, lift one up to make sure there's full contact between the mortar and tile. If not, you can back butter the tiles again or use a trowel with larger notches to spread the thin set. Watch for any mortar on the face of the tile. Just wipe away with a damp sponge. Once you have a few tiles set, check for high spots using a level. You can even them out with a rubber mallet. Keep laying the tile, working in small sections. Leave a quarter inch gap between the tile and the wall to allow for expansion. And when it's time to grout, be sure not to grout in this space. To make cuts, a tile cutter works great for small jobs, but a rented wet saw is a time saver for big ones. For the tile around plumbing, use a tile drill bit for holes and nippers to cut curves. And remember to leave a quarter inch around pipes for expansion. We're making big progress on this bathroom. The wall tile is up and all the floor tiles down. We've let the thin set dry for 24 hours, so now it's time to grout. Mix it according to the directions and usually a paste-like consistency. Working in small sections, press the grout into the joints with the rubber float. Then pull it diagonally across the joints and remove as much excess as possible. After about 20 minutes, wipe the grout lines in a circular motion with the sponge and clean water. The remaining residue can be removed with the grout haze remover. After the joints have been filled, don't walk on the floor for about 72 hours or as recommended by the manufacturer. Back to those expansion gaps. Just apply a bead of silicone sealant. In three weeks, the grout should be completely dry, at which time you should apply a grout sealer. The last step is to install any trim or transitions and reconnect your plumbing fixtures. Check it out. This new floor looks fantastic, but we're not done with this remodel yet. Check out our next project at lowes.com slash how to.